welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, you already know it. You are fabulous. All right, y'all, DIY number one. Let's just jump right in. Okay, so I have got the Farm Fresh Pumpkins sign. It's like a yard sign from the Dollar Tree, and I just popped the stake right off the back of it. I'm gonna take a box cutter and cut this dude in half. I am going to separate the bed of the truck from the cab of the truck. Just scored it a couple times with that box cutter and it will literally snap right in half. I also took the box cutter and cut along the sides like where the pumpkins were hanging out. I didn't like the, the shape of that coming out the side of the truck. So I did cut that off also. And as you can see there, you just scored a couple times and it will literally snap you know, right in half, like it'll come right off. Super simple, super, super simple to do. Now, I had this acorn from my fall stash, and I thought, you know what? That would be perfect to put this truck back together because I just needed a little bit of space in between it. So I just laid the tailgate of that, that truck or the, the bed of the truck right across that acorn, made me a couple lines, scored it out a couple times where I could see where I needed to cut, and then I use the box cutter to literally cut this thing right in half and actually I think I maybe went across it like five times and it it snapped right off now I am taking um, Waverly chalk paint in the color crimson and I'm just gonna paint this entire truck totally top to bottom we're just redoing the whole thing completely take it apart repaint it and start over that's what we're doing all right now in between my coats of paint i always use this heat gun and y'all this thing is fantastic okay like i talk about it every video but i just cannot get over how good it works i mean your drying time for paint is like three minutes yeah all right arteza sent me a set of the acrylic markers and they are awesome oh my gosh they came with extra tips the tweezers to put the tips in and then look at all the different colors that it has i mean come on now and they're acrylic like what these are so awesome okay now just like any marker like this um, any kind of paint pen or anything like that you just push down on it and the the tip will actually fill up with the paint so that's how you get it to start um, I just kept pushing until I could see the paint coming out the end and then I was good to go. I flipped the tip around. All right, now, and I say I flipped the tip around because I always use like that big end to push down on so you don't mess up the, the real skinny end like your pointed end. It's just a little tip there. Um, <clears throat> once I got that like I needed it, got my paint going, I just frame out this truck. I put the um, back glass in the tailgate, kind of shape off the sides of the truck, you know, where the tires are. I have no idea what that's called, <laughs> but anyways, y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, so I just uh, frame this, this truck out, get all my spaces there. Now, once I get this done, I'm sitting there looking at it, and I'm like, mm, I just don't know about this. Like, I redid this truck so many times, y'all. I cannot even count. Like, I had to take some of it out of the video. It got so long <laughs> because I just couldn't get it just right, and I really wanted this to turn out perfect. All right, so first time around, had it framed out. I decided it was just too stark black. It was just too much, so I took my um, red paint, well, my paintbrush that I had been painting with the red, and I just dry brushed right over the top of the um, black, trying to make it more like a shadow of the the shapes and the, you know, the um, framing it out. I just wanted it to be kind of a shadow of it. I also took some red paint and straightened up any of my lines that I didn't have just straight. Now, I tried to paint the um, back glass of this truck with a silver paint, and I did not like the way that it looked. It it just looked tacky. So I end up going in with the silver lining chalk paint by Waverly, and it worked out perfect actually. So I just paint the whole back back glass. I can't say nothing tonight <laughs> of the truck. Now, once I got that done, I decided I wanted this to be framed out. So I totally reframed it out again. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I did this like five times no lie all right so i just took my black marker again 
literally reframed it out. Now I'm going to take um, some antique wax by Waverly and just go right around the edge of the truck. Just uh, dirtying it up a little, you know, aging it a little, whatever. Trucks are supposed to be dirty, so hey, we're just aging it out a little bit. Now, I took a yellow acrylic marker and I painted in the um, tail lights. Obviously, tail lights are red, but you know, whatever. It looked funny on this red truck. So, now I wanted this to have rear view mirrors or side mirrors, whatever you want to call it. So, I took two um, craft sticks and just painted the tip of them. Literally just the tip. And why that's in slow motion, I have no idea. Y'all know that happens to my videos sometimes. <laughs> uh, now, while the, those were drying, I'm going to take the brown and I'm just going to go all the way around this truck. I just add extra lines. I'm kind of shadowing. I'm kind of contouring it. Just, I don't really know the words to use to explain it, but I, I just tried to give it a little life. Just put a little oomph into this truck. And I wanted it to look you know, rustic and, and rusty. So I felt like that brown really pulled that antique wax out. It really made that antique wax pop and, you know, just really made it, really rusted it up some. So once I got that on, I'm going to take the Ho-Ho-Ho. That was the only thing. No, it was the Holly Jolly. I actually put Ho-Ho on a different one. I'm sorry. So I took the Holly Jolly sticker from Dollar General. It came off of a wall sticker. I just put it right on the tailgate pushed it down really, really good. Now I'm going to take some Mod Podge and just go right over the top of that. And I actually end up painting the entire truck with the Mod Podge just to kind of protect my paint, my colors, you know. Um, I, I'm hoping to sell this piece actually. So I really wanted this to be perfect and I don't, I didn't want it to mess up or, you know, whatever. I just decided I would put Mod Podge all over the thing. Okay, how about that? <laughs> all right, now, if I ever get done with the Mod Podge, we can move on. Oh my gracious. All right. Now, I took my craft sticks, snipped them off, placed them on each side of the truck. All right. Now, Starbond was kind enough to send me a box full of glue, y'all. <laughs> like, literally a box full. There is a little bit of everything in this glue. Um, they've got all kind of different kinds, uh, different colors, just these are great. This one here is the like multi-purpose glue. It's thin. It's kind of like super glue, I guess you'd say. This one is black. It's actually like a thicker glue. Then you've got the brown. It's about a medium glue. You have got um, just the medium glue. You also have a white and then there is also a thick. And I'm going to assume that one's a little more like gel, you know. Then there is this. This is so cool. All right, there is an accelerator. That is so awesome. I've never seen anything like this. So y'all are with me for this very first time I've ever used anything like this. But we're going to definitely try it out. All right, now, I decided I would use the um, multi-purpose for this truck. So I just added it to the back of the um, sticks. Well, first I decided exactly where I was going to place them, and I just added it to the stick and then just placed my, my, my um, well, good gracious, my rear view mirrors or whatever, side mirrors, my side mirrors that I'm trying to put on my dad blame truck. Lord, have mercy. All right. <laughs> okay. So, it worked really great, though. The glue, honestly, did work really, really good, I will have to say. It, I'm impressed. I've been looking for a good glue because I, I did a lot of tiered trays for the Fall Fest deal that we had down here at the lake, and I was using, um, I was using E6000 and also uh, Loctite's, what was it called? power grab and y'all it just wouldn't stay together so i'm hoping that this star bond turns out to be you know what i've been looking for anyways i added that multi-purpose to the acorn then i added the accelerator to the back of the truck pop that dude down and y'all it's stuck like the second that you hit it with it it is very very stuck so you better have it right where you want it but i will say it did work very very well 
Now, I took an extra piece of a popsicle stick or craft stick, whatever you want to call it, and just added it to the back. I actually added two of them, and that was just for extra security that this thing was going to stay together, you know, just a little extra. Now, I, had, I needed to put some legs on the back of this, or some weight, I guess you would say. So, I took a craft stick, a small one, and just placed it right along that little ledge there. There's kind of like a little ledge on the outside of that acorn. So I just placed my craft stick, and then I'm gonna take uh, Jenga blocks that I had glued together. I glued two together, and then I glued those to the popsicle stick. So the back of this thing is a little wonky looking. I will not lie, it really is. But it turns out so stinking cute that ain't nobody finna look at the back, okay? <laughs> now, I am taking some of that garland from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to wrap it around itself and make myself like a skinny little Christmas tree. Just a little skinny one. Fit perfect in the back of the truck. Now I'm going to take more of that garland and wrap it around itself, snip it off, and then wrap some more of the garland around it because I want like a little short fat tree. We're just making a bunch of Christmas trees. That's what we're doing. I want to put quite a few little Christmas trees in the back of this truck. I think it will be so, so cute. So that's what I did. I just wrapped it around. And as you can see, I just made a couple different Christmas trees. I mean, it's super simple to do. You just wrap it around itself until you come up with, you know, the shape of a Christmas tree. Now, I took these stickers, these wooden stickers that come from Dollar Tree. And not only did I want to add a little bit more to the back of that truck, but I wanted to play with these markers. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> they're so cool that it is just, they're just awesome, okay? Uh, now, I these markers I'm very impressed with because they did not bleed. You know how normally if you're painting on, or say you've got like a marker, a Sharpie, and you go to do it on wood, it will actually bleed. Like the wood will actually kind of suck up the color these markers don't do that they are paint this they are so awesome i'm telling y'all you have to check out these markers i'll have a link in the description box for these markers uh, specifically so definitely definitely check these out you will not be disappointed all right now i got my little uh pr presents made now i'm gonna take a little bit of white paint and just flock these these trees I love the snowy look on the Christmas trees on any Christmas tree. I love, love, love that look. Actually, I'm hoping to get a new Christmas tree of my own this year, and I, that's what I'm wanting to get is one of them that already has the snow look to it. All right, now, to uh, secure these trees in this truck, I just added a little hot glue, kind of smushed my tree in a little bit, and then just, you know, held it on there. And it goes on perfect. Now, the middle of this acorn has a little, like, holder in it. So, I just stuck the middle tree down in that little holder. And it stayed perfect. And then my smaller tree, my little skinny tree, I just kind of put it out to the side. Now, to secure the um, presents, I glued a little, put a little bit of glue on the front. You'll see with this, this third one that I put in. Um, but I just put a little bit of glue on the front of it and then stick that to the truck as you see there and there it is i love this i think it's so cute All right, DIY number two, and my favorite. I love, love, love this. Okay, so I got this wooden, um, I believe it is a charger plate because there was actually like four of them exactly the same. I got it for $1.99 at the Goodwill, and I'm just going to take some ivory color paint and paint this whole deal. These paint brushes I get from Walmart, y'all, and they're like five bucks for two of them. Very, very good paintbrush. The bristles stay on real well. I mean, they're just a good, good paintbrush. I really like them. That's why I wanted to show you all the packaging of it. But anyways, that was just something I wanted to share with you. Okay, so I paint this entire thing with my um, ivory colored paint. Of course, I use my heat, heat gun. And I'll have a link in the description box for it also. Uh, normally, any video, I've got a link for that heat gun because it's just an awesome little deal. Now, 
Uh, we're going to distress this, but I did want it to have one good solid, or two, but you know what I'm saying, like a good solid coat of paint before we distress it. Now, I just took some sandpaper and went along the edge of this, and y'all, it distresses so good. Like, I could not get over how great it looked. Check this out. Oh, oh my goodness. Perfect. Okay. Now, I'm going to take a window clean that I got from the Dollar General. I'm going to add some Mod Podge. Smear that in real good. I've just got a foam brush to, that I'm using for it. Add some more Mod Podge to the top of this. And actually, I ended up Mod Podging the entire thing. I just like, when I'm using Mod Podge, I just go ahead and Mod Podge everything because it's kind of like a, um, you know, it's like a sealant. Like it seals it in and, and it's kind of got a covering. So that's why I like to do the Mod Podge all over. If I'm going to, if I have it out, I'm going to go ahead and use it all over. Just kind of sealing it all. All right, now. I am going to take this Starbond um, multi-purpose glue, once again, and just add these handles. Y'all, this, this one was so simple, so simple, and it is darling. Added my handle. Now, I did take a piece of this edging that I had laying around and just kind of lay it across there so I could make sure that I got the handles just right use that Starbond. It worked great too. Let me just tell you, it did stick. I am very impressed. And there you have it. So simple and so nice. All right, so I just wanted to hop on here real quick and take a second to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all, we are almost to 20,000 subscribers. Like, what? Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. I'm just, I, this little YouTube journey has been fantastic. And it is all because of y'all. Because if it weren't for y'all and the encouragement that I get from y'all and just the uplift that I get through the comments and just knowing that y'all are watching the videos and you're coming back for more and it just, it is so fantastic. It is fabulous <laughs> is what it actually is. So I just wanted to take a second and say thank you for that. And also, if you've noticed uh, on the channel, I have been doing some product reviews. So if I say, hey, this is a good ch product to check out or hey, this is, um, you know, this works really well, please know that I honestly mean, hey, this works really well or hey, go check this product out. Because if it's not a good product, I will email the company back and say, hey, this didn't work out the way we thought it would and I just don't think I'm going to be able to do your review. So don't worry about that. I, I'm not going to just throw stuff out there to you and it not actually be um, quality products. So anyways, with that being said, I do make a small commission off of those. And when I say small, I mean like 10 to 2%. So very, very small, but that does help me. Every little bit helps because that helps me be able to continue doing what I'm doing. Because doing these um, DIYs, it costs money to buy the stuff to do them. You know, I mean, though it's Dollar Tree and whatever, I can walk in the Dollar Tree and pop out $100, okay? Easy. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyways, I just want to say thank you. There are so many different um, elements to this YouTube thing. And y'all are the biggest, biggest part. And it is just... I'm just so excited. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. All right, let's get back into these DIYs. All right, DIY number three. So I've got this little uh, red truck ornament from the Dollar General. I also got this little sign from the Dollar General and I, I got it for 75% off. So whatever that is of four bucks, it was super cheap. Let's just put it that way. All right, now I took it apart because <clears throat> we're going to be painting it. So I've got this black chalkboard paint that I always buy at the Dollar General and it works great. I painted this entire little piece here front and back because obviously it hangs so you know you possibly could see the back of it. Now we're going to work on the little red truck. I took it apart, um, took off the tree, and then we're going to 
attempt to get all of the uh, glitter off of it. And I did say attempt because <laughs> let me just tell you, it was a lot of glitter on this little truck, especially in this tree. I, I wanted to save the tree and still use it. So I really, really picked at it. I took scissors and tried to run across it. Not happening. Now, for the truck, I actually just took a piece of sandpaper and just went right across the areas that had the glitter on it. And I'm actually glad I did because it kind of distressed the truck and you could see the wood around the, um, whatever that's called on where the tire is, like that big hump thing there. That's, I don't know, it's got a name, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it really distressed that. So it looked really, really good. Now, as I was doing the sandpaper, I scrubbed off like the tires itself. So I just took a very small, paintbrush and went in and repainted those tires back on but you could still see a little bit of glitter around the edges and it was driving me nuts like it probably would have been fine but I, it just couldn't stand it because I wanted all the glitter off of it so I just took another very small paintbrush got my red and went very carefully around all of the little places that had the uh, glitter I didn't want to mess up where it was already distressed because I thought that looked really cool and I definitely didn't want to mess up my tires that I had just painted. So I just went real easy, real slow and careful, and it worked out fine. Now we've got our little truck ready. So the tree was just not salvageable. I could not get all of the glitter off of it. Check it out. Yeah, still full of glitter. So anyways, we're going to make our own little tree. Once again, we're going to take a little bit of that garland, just like we did in the first DIY, and just fold it up wrap it around itself i did take scissors this time and kind of really shape it up to look like a christmas tree but super simple i just hot glued this back onto the truck held it down there works out so cute this is so stinking cute all right now once i got my truck ready i wanted to uh, flock that tree so i just added a little bit of white paint to my brush and yes i'm wiping it off on my hand it was the closest thing to me so whatever <laughs> it happens now i just added my white paint to the to the tree this is where i'm taking that ho 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 sticker and i'm just going to place it right on top of this little sign now i did place it in the wrong spot a couple times and i had to move it around and whatever but it, it ends up, it sticks, it's okay. We're gonna use some Mod Podge and everything will be fine. Now, once I got it on there, I didn't like that you could really see um, the plastic from the sticker on that black. For some reason, like on the red truck, you couldn't see it that much, but once I put it on that black, it was, it really, you could see it. So I just took a really small um, paintbrush and some black paint and I just, very easily went around all of the letters. That way you could not see the, the, the sticker at all. Now, I'm Mod Podging it, and I Mod Podge the whole thing. Of course I do. I always Mod Podge the whole thing. <laughs> all right, once I got that done, I just added a little bit of hot glue, or maybe a lot. It was quite a bit of hot glue. Glued my little truck on. So stinking cute. Turns out so stinking cute. All right, now, I'm going to take some twine. Um, I accidentally threw away the first two pieces because they were perfectly lengthed and, you know, whatever. But anyways, I accidentally threw them away. So we're starting over with our own twine. Now, I just uh, threaded this through the little holes. Went ahead and got both in there. I'm going to take some tape and wrap it around the end because the hole in the black sign was... A little bit smaller so it was a little harder to get that twine through so I just took a little bit of tape and added it to the ends of my twine and it pulled right through super simple now once I got it pulled through I went ahead and made a knot on each side got the bottom part ready snipped off where my tape was right real close to the to the knot and then I got it where I wanted it and taped it down that way I could have my the length just right you know I could go ahead and tie one of them and have one of them taped up that way it would be it would hang level if that makes any sense whatsoever I left my tape on literally until I had gotten the knot completely tied and then I pulled the tape back off that way you know the way that I had it not centered but level where it would hang level too stinking cute. Oh, I love it. All 
All right, DIY number four. So I have got this Christmas bag that I got from the Dollar General for $3. I have also got some of these edging pieces that I got from uh, my local hardware store and they're like a dollar a piece. I mean, they're, they're so handy to have. Now I took my box cutter, laid my piece of edging down and just started cutting. I wanted to cut the front part of this bag out and I, I didn't want to go down the sides and do all that. I just wanted the front piece of it and I wanted to make sure that I got as much of it as I could because I wanted this to be a, we're making a sign and I wanted it to be a pretty good size sign, you know, a good, good size, something that you would put like above your mantle or, you know, something like that. Really good size sign for Christmas. So I just went around every side of it sliced it right down the side and y'all this worked out perfect this was so much better than getting scissors and trying to cut the bag and look it just uh, exactly the piece i needed i mean i it literally come out perfect now i just laid this down on some um foam board from the dollar tree laid it out cut it out now we're ready okay i took those edging pieces and measured them off by the size of the foam board. And I did measure off the, fr the top and bottom, both sides, because sometimes, you know, I might've gotten off and it wasn't the right, they weren't the same length. Anyways, I'm gonna take my miter box and um, saw and cut these down. Now, I got that miter box on Amazon, but they have actually got a bigger one now that is about the same price that I actually would recommend. Um, I will try to have a link for, in the description box for that, but works perfect okay now i have got some loctite spray adhesive and i'm just going to spray this entire board and be careful with this because it does have a big overspray like it was it does have a big overspray spray so just just be careful with it now laid my bag out onto my foam board just pressed it down smoothed it out and y'all it smooths out perfectly this turns out so pretty. I mean, it's just beautiful. I'm sorry. I just feel like it is a beautiful, beautiful piece. All right. Now, once I got that, and I smoothed it out really, really good. And it, oh, I just, I cannot get over how well it did. Now, I'm taking some of that, um, oh, look, I got a new chip brush. I'm so excited. Thank you to everybody in the comments that helped me figure out what kind of brush I had <laughs> the last video that I was talking about. And I, I found me one at my local my local hardware store. So thank you for the comments and thank you to uh, Yates and Sons. That's the name of the hardware store. <laughs> Anyways, I just dry brushed those uh, edging pieces. I'm going to take some hot glue, run it right down the, the center line of that edge piece and just lay that dude down. We are just gonna frame this out. All four sides, just taking a little bit of hot glue, framing it out. This turns out beautiful. It is beautiful, I love this. Very, very pretty piece. Literally just frame the dude out and there you go. So pretty. And now for the final reveal. I hope that y'all enjoy.
All right, y'all. That is it for today. I hope that y'all have enjoyed. I know that I have had a blast doing these Christmas DIYs. I love it. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would love for you to share this video and definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so that you will know each time I upload a new video. Y'all definitely check me out over on Instagram and Facebook. That is a great place to connect. It is Blessed Beyond Measure Crafts. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure and hit that subscribe button and y'all have a blessed day.